Welcome back to Vienna Spring Break here on Alti TV. I'm still Stefan Rapazzo, joined with Christina Obermeyer for this quarterfinal action in the men's division. 
we've got rivals that a lot of these players will know each other very well because we've got a hometown club against a home country club. Christina, tell us about these two teams. So one of them is forward. They are in the top 20, I want to say, of Europe. They have been for quite some time. A bit of personnel changes lately, but still the force to be reckoned with at times. On the other hand, AUT under 24 open. They're preparing to go to Worlds in Limerick this summer. It's a bit of a... Nottingham. Nottingham. Oh, I'm so sorry. Limerick is AUC, of course. Um, not too far away, those two places. Convenient for anyone traveling from further away. So they are preparing and they are a... Um, development team since Austria is a rather small nation many of the male players that are um, are eligible for under 24s chose to play on the open squad this year at U at Limerick you see and so the team now I don't want to say anything bad about them or anything but, but so the, these are the people that will benefit a lot from playing on a world's stage against, against people their age. Well, let's see how it all shakes out. The under 24s in black get the first possession against the forward team in white. Roster's late to come in. We're gonna do our best. Good thing we've got Christina who knows what these guys do. Big shot to open things up. A lot of space as it went up and well taken. Jakob Mischa hangs on. Two defenders came late, but nothing they could do about that. Hauled in, one nothing, one throw. That was a beautiful shot out of Holzner, I believe. Uh, Angata, actually. Put that one up. It's one of uh, out of mosquitoes. Close to Neuburg. Great read. <laughs> really was, and th that was Rafael Panic. Great drone shot as well. Brought to you by Ayoka Energy Drink, made right here in Am uh, Amsterdam. Goodness gracious, right here in Austria. Inspire the moment, get creative, feel, Ayoka. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jan Novak coaching the under 24 side after featuring in the final in Tom's tourney and, and many tournaments with Bologna. Now on the sideline trying to impart his knowledge. Here's forward Christina. 97 shirt, opening things up. That's Kane. Yes. Jacked, and that is going to be too far in front. Forward tries to answer in a very similar manner, and it does not fall in their favor. So the D-line might be able to get a break early in the game. Yeah, definitely trying to. Getting, a, getting an opportunity here, sell out with the pass into the end zone, but just too far out in front. Getting to know who these players are. Some of them you should be able to recognize. Many commenters might think us commentators should be able to recognize who these uh, who they are but uh, these players got to make a name for themselves for everyone and every way before they get full recognition despite what some of these commenters may say we love the comments all the time keep it coming we say let us know how you're feeling let us know who's going to win this game let us know who's going to play out of their skin as we watch it unfold Nidenov goes right into the defense and forward in white moving in the direction of the attacking end zone now. Kratki gets it through a few hands. Oh, 
Govitz with the big sky in the handler set. He goes around. And Dovitz at the back of the offense. Here would have been, but not enough for the D, but the pressure is intense from the under 24 squad. Seven shirt collects again. And squeaks one in and they get away with a hold. But under 24 has got two sniffs at it. Yeah, that was intense pressure from that young squad. Really pushing forward in the red zone. Close calls and some, uh, some tight layouts. Here is a, another look at the tail end of that play. And Florian Kane ends up hauling in the goal. So last O-line instructions for AUT as forward get ready to pull. Bounced on the pull. Here comes the pull by forward. Second asking to hold by Austria under 24. Their first crack at it was nice and easy. Two throws, a reset and a huck and they've already doubled their throat. Angeta. Goes to center. The wind up again, Angeta wants to jack it. Yeah, he always does. And he executes those to perfection. Crowd loves a hammer, crowd gets a hammer. And we are getting a pretty big Austrian crowd on hand here, of course, with the hometown team and, and the national youth team. This is one for the, the fans on site here. Inside break into the defense. Not sure who that was in the 46 shirt. And I've never seen that guy make, before. Might have to make a few more plays to be recognizable. 46 shirt again, winds up and throws right into a layout point block. Gonna have to rethink that throw around that kind of a defender. Angeta with the big D laying out horizontal, getting that disc. What a play. Now inside the red zone. Austria under 24s. Oh, and they can't handle it. Forward will go forward once again. Forty six shirt. Gets the wind up, goes deep. That looked good. But not if you've got that defender in front. 72 steps in and takes it away. Ressel, and it's given right back. Yeah. Many of those under 24 players are out of Mosquitos, Klose Neuburg, Ressel, as well as Angeta, who just got that amazing block. Centering pass. And again, far sideline, wide angle shot. And 72, this man is making plays, Paul Ressel. That's his second broken up huck in as many hucks. Yeah, I wouldn't put anything near him if he was the defender. He's gonna get it. He's got a magnetic hand that attracts that plastic. A weird, unique magnetism.
Austrian under 24 is with their third chance here to hold. Centered almost to midfield and a swiping fake sends the defense the other way. And they make another connection. Ooh, the defense walks into the throw. Now into center. Prashaka. Ooh, that one ill-advised. And a decent play to break it up, but a foul on that play as they discuss on their knees. Those two know each other really well. They've been playing in the same club for quite some time, and I think the discussion will be quite calm. Both of them still sitting there, chilling. So they've played on the same club, meaning forward. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, okay. So Mosquitoes is another Vienna, Viennese it's, uh, team? Right outside Vienna. And it's a mixed squad, and they were at um, UCF last year as a mixed team and made the top eight. Loads of young talent. I think the majority of their player is players are still under 24s, and they're going to be divided between the uh, national team and the under 24 national team as their skill is. And that throw Very straight mature. to ground. Not able to get to number 49, despite his mustache making him look well older than 24. Forward now, inside shot, deep. 46 is under it, he's got it with the right hand and pops it over his shoulder for the happy finish. Great D there from Angeta to get up there and try to contest it, but that was always Dunshan's desk. So whose disc was that? That was Dungeon, you say. I think I saw him in the chats from Tom, wondering why we don't know the numbers of some players, even though they're poorly rostered. And in well, another it's, case, it's I, never I don't have a 46. Fault. Pardon me? It's never our fault. To know, if, we know, if we don't know the names, it's, it's always a player's fault if you want to distribute blame. Yeah making we, we should uh, uh, oh goodness there was a heck of a uh, layout on the other field the uh, yeah the onus on us to know every player in Europe no matter what their prowess is a lot to ask and so I will try not to take it out upon those who call us out because we do encourage the commenting. We want you to comment and of let us know. Of course we do, but keep it, keep it happy, keep it positive. You can yeah. voice your opinion always, but not on, like not Not pointing out you. broadcasting yeah. mistakes. <laughs> they should know who that is. It's just rude. That is this person. I will help you. Yeah. That's great, we love that. Let's do that. Angeta will be on the field again. Here come the under 24s after getting broken early in the game. Wide around shot. Thirty-six. Oh, and a laser and a great bit of body. He's calling the foul. I just called. I called a shoulder check a great bit of body. He did use his size there. He did knock the other player down. I think justifiable foul call, but it was quite impressive the physicality he went to that disc with, despite what I think is likely going to be a validated foul. Yeah, Noah Haida with the disc in his hands after a lot of contact and... <laughs> He, he did give a good right shoulder shove there, and I can't call that a great bit of body. He, he held his space well, but I think that was a foul. 
And as we know, an offensive foul is a turnover. Indeed, so well settled, great spirit. And forward will have a chance to go the other way. They try and do it all in one throw. Defense is in front, and the attacking player can't get quite low enough to haul it in. He really tried. And I already heard them calling, ooh, shoot, which is like, shoot it, before the throw even came up. They were right. They being the sidelines, spectators. Oh! Oh no. As I suspected, I thought he pulled a rabbit out of the hat there, but he picked it up off the ground. Good defense for the initial throw after the turn. And now engaging the reset behind. They've gone about 10, 15 meters back since getting that turn and a wobble on that one. Not sure if a hand was on it. Feels like they're only going backwards. And that one up and floaty, a chance and a knock away. Oh, foul called there. And again, that one, he may have fouled him, but it was, it was the throw made it a foulable play there. That throw was just floating and... No, <sighs> yeah, not a good throw in my opinion. It... Oh no, definitely not. I don't think anybody's opinion is going to say that that was a good throw. Where On the other hand, he did position himself very well. Yes. To danced. As well as possible. And then the swiping hand did get a piece of him. And valid enough call, but tough one to succumb to when the throw just floated and, and you know the only way to make a D there is to kind of go through the player uh, it should have just been a very direct pass yeah. it should have been a hammer mm. calling hammer if I only had a hammer and so yes we've got some action in the comments it is Jakob Dunshin he does play for Groot he did he is comments. Austrian he's an awesome player yeah Yes. He is Austrian. Oh, he's Austrian. He's, no. I thought you said I he's awesome. Awesome as, as well. Let's say he's an awesome player. I can, I can put my name under that statement. He is originally Austrian. He moved to the Netherlands to study and has joined Krut. To study ultimate. Psychology, to but ultimate as well. To study the teachings of Ben Ort and company. A He's wonderful delivery coming to the broadcast booth right now. Excited eyes, ready to accept. Hands coming. The Austrian hosts here doing a wonderful job keeping everybody happy. feeling welcome and happy. And here comes the 49 shirt of the under 24s. That is, I'm not sure who it is to be honest, but like I said, his mustache looks way more than 24. That's Jan Uschnick. Ketchup Graz player. Good stash. I can attest to that. Ooh. Chance for a step in front, but no, taken away. And now the big shot. Defense there, but the attacking player had a look at it first. Will there be a call? There will not. Hmm. He may, let's have a look here. I think he may have. He didn't know where the disc was uh. at the beginning true but there was definitely a touch against him maybe he believed that uh, the opposing player had 
just as much right to that ground and, yeah. and didn't want to make a call on it, but there was contact, most certainly. In, in general, one can say that all of these player has, players have different level of experience with Frisbee, therefore different experience with body contact, whereas some contact might be more acceptable than others. Too far in front, that throw, Dunshin hoped for a bit more out of his receiver, but probably could have put a bit more mustard on it. I was wondering, to put more mustard on something here in Austria, what is the most traditional condiment? Is it mustard still? So we do a lot of ketchup and mustard. Uh, we do sweet mustard. Mm. And uh, something rather special, or like typical Austrian, typical German, probably, is uh, Maggi. Maggi? Well, I could have used some more Maggi, and he could have used some honey on those hands to stick it in. Now, forward, going the other way, Dunshin gets the under. He gestures and directs traffic with the offhand and then moves back into the reset position. The under comes and Dungeon collects midfield now. Gets another under. Miroslav Stanovic. Then a nice bid, but just shy of connecting. And Michael Schwab collects the goal for forward, and they're up a couple now. Uh, Rafael Panik with that huge layout comes shy, but I've never seen him do that before. That was a beautiful bid. <laughs> Missed by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Full extension and a meter in the air. Loving the commentary from Gudel Skaros talking about the uh, contact in the end zones out there, saying that the attacking player initiated the contact. Very well could have. I mean, thinking back, I think a bit more incidental than initiated, but I like your perspective. Happy to hear about it. Rap stars van rolling in. We've got the burger van. We've got the rap van. It's all happening here in Vienna. Dinner when, is served. When is the Vienna schnitzel van coming? I want a Tafel Spitz van coming in. You and me Give both. me some Apple Strudel vans. I'll get those afterwards, I guess. I'll make it work. We've got the all Austria quarterfinal here. The club team giving it to the young lads at this stage. But lots of time left. Jan Novak about to jump into a time machine, go back four or five years so he might jump in the game. No, he has faith in these young lads. He's gonna let them play. Haida gets an under and replaces his very spot. Giving and going, Angeta. And get another completion. And a stoppage, some contact just upfield. And get it, taps it back in. There. Uh, I'm very entertained here in Vienna. Into the red zone now, the under 24s look outside in, into the corner. Everybody has a look. And that prevents us from getting a good look. But it is not complete. From the sounds of the sideline, I would imagine it's a turnover. Gonna go back into the hands of forward, coffin corner. 
They've got a full length to go now. That one to Dunshin. Oh, and a great step from behind. He didn't even get in front. From behind, got his arm over the shoulder and knocked it away. Centering in the attacking half now. Ooh, and the shot goes behind and bobbled and dropped. Dunshin puts it into play for forward. And there are two throws in before they get another under. It doesn't get the burn. And layout comes and now Dunshin all alone. Oh, and he gets a bailout there because his intended receiver was off to the races. And a big bid from Angeta. He is flying all over the place. Coach has got to be happy to see that kind of playmaking ability on defense. Hayda. Into the 36 shirt. Great reach to keep that hammer. Does that have the helix? Way! What a play, but he smacks the ground. He's not happy. He had it. Hand came down on the disc properly, but he could not hang on. It seems a bit impossible, but he usually get, comes down with every single one of those. Paul Russell is just Im incredible when laying out. He was too nervous to be on Alti TV. <laughs> Next time he'll have that. That was his first potential layout hammer grab. He let that one get away. The nerves got to him, but I think he's got the next one. Dunshin with the disc for forward. Goes wide, nice leading throw into the flats. Gets it again in front of the camera, fakes the backhand and centers. Too wide and the under 24s get one more look, midfield. And they're playing turnover game here, just giving it back and forth. That's a few in a row, and Dunshin centers. The deep cut comes, but I think they want to put those away. Dunshin garners double defenders, and they find the open man. He calls the timeout, and after a flurry of timeouts, I think, uh, of turnovers, I think that timeout is a wise decision. Yeah, I would have taken it so much earlier. They're gonna take the timeout. We're gonna give you a word from our support and we'll be right back. We believe Mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. gone anywhere you've been on alti tv all the while good for you you know what's good for you we're here in vienna best seats in the house bringing you the action of this all austrian quarterfinal of course the age grouped national team under 24 national team 
against the long-standing Viennese team forward who have a comfortable early game lead 4-1 as we go. Sam Stag kicks things into action and Dunshan gets the under. And now he's gone deep. That's a good looking throw. Easily handled by the 67 shirt and forward scores again with relative ease after the timeout. Yeah, clinical over forward. They hooked up a side stack, but that never really worked for them. Mostly because I, I do believe they were in the wrong space, on the wrong side, because they were forcing the side the stack was on, which I don't think is ideal personally, but might have been intentional, and I'm just not seeing the bigger picture here. Either way, they got the isolation they needed to set the handlers into play. The deep cut ended up coming to the wide side of the field, so maybe wh whether they utilized the players coming out of the stack efficiently or not, or only just got the, the one final continuation, again, it worked. Whether it worked exactly the way they, they draw that up or not, inconsequential no, I'm not debating and, that. and quite possibly so that that's not the way that that side stack was meant to go but uh, possibly yes that, that is that could have been the draw up we'll have to get into the coach's playbook to find out more here comes the pull a roller from the midfield that settles quite short. Fifty shirt comes under and twenty-six now in the underneath space. Niden off. Ooh, there was a chance there. Forward resting in the zone here. And it looked like a player was streaking to a scoring space, but not seen by the thrower, and instead returned to a dump swing situation. So many bodies around the disc, and Kratzky ends up with it. A bit of confusion there, fall call. I don't know who initiated contact. It definitely was because everyone's running around in circles. Somebody hit me. <laughs> Stankovic says. Well, that one handled only just. Uh, Hammer, we love to see it. We'll take another one, scuba it into the end zone, or reset. Why not? Do the safe thing. Boring Ultimate does win games, loses fan approval, though. And that one in for goal. The Austrian under 24 is cash in and keep things respectable here, give themselves a chance to swing with the club side. Yeah, that was a beautiful piece of offense. So reset and moving to the other side of the field worked really well for them. See Lienhardt with the big fake going to Beran. And Beran actually does most of the heavy lifting by swinging to the other side of the pitch and then just a pop in for Kratzky. Kratzky probably not noticing that other people were around that space where he wanted to cut into, but eh, that works. Gets her done. <laughs> so, defense for AUT. Novak giving them some input. He knows a thing or two about defense, doesn't he? Yeah, I've seen him make a play or two in his day. He's left his feet once at least. Every game. Yeah, maybe more than once a oh, game even. All right. I was erring to the conservative side of how many times I've seen him leave his feet. Forward. Palo. And <laughs> the Tump Dovitz. Just said, come on, throw it, put it over his head. I'm here. I don't even need to run if he's not looking at you. Rather not move at all. 
Radovitz again. A couple deep cuts generated, but never with spacing. Efficient spacing, rather. Pala goes to Dovitz. And that was a very slowly developing deep cut, and two defenders were there, and they both misread it, and that play should not have come off, and it did. Well done to forward for making that work, but the defense had way too many advantages to give him that one. Do Dovitz high-fiving his head. Shouldn't have put that up, but came out anyway, and it worked out, but... Yeah, he... Got away with a teammate making a good play, but also two opposition players just playing the body and not the disc there. It's like, wait a minute, there's another body, and the disc is going the other way, and that one goes against them. So forward, holding on to the lead. Arthur van de Weg, wondering what are those red pants? He must only be speaking of one blonde mulleted member of the under 24 team. Fritz Holzner. Yeah, I mean, they work with the kit, don't they? Ah, Austrian no, they national colors are red and white. He's wearing white socks with red pants. Can't really say anything. Colors are right, but the, and, and their kits aren't in yet, so I can accept it in a tournament like this, but no, standout colors like that don't work. Well, it, it really causes everyone to highlight you, and if you're a good player and you're highlighted by the color in addition, it's really good, but everyone's gonna see every single mistake you're, do you're making. It. Yes, but highlighting yourself in the midst of a uniform breaks the whole notion of uniformity, which is never a good thing, whether you're it's playing really well or really poorly. It's called fashion. Well, fashion standing out with accessories is one thing, but uh, pants and shirts are more than just accessories. They're essential parts of the kit. Absolutely right. And that hammer was absolutely right choice, even though it wasn't collected. Over the head, that shot with too much wind under it. And get it. Goes forward, sideline shot for goal. That's gonna count if his hand worked. But it didn't, and he lets it get away. That disc trailing towards the left side of the field and just grabs away from it. Riegler. I think with the relationships on this field and everybody knows everybody, there was even some forward players that wanted him to have that one and that we're a little bit disappointed he didn't could, get away with it. I can argue against it, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> you may know much better than me with uh, the players on this team, this field. Dungeon. The wind up goes through the mark, inside out backhand. There is a defender there, but the throw is just about perfect. Forward, the only upfield defend uh, attacker comes back to the disc and in doing so cuts into traffic. And Haida with the run through block by accident, I want to say. Still counts. Yeah, by accident, but be, like really just traffic in pursuit and, and the forward cut ran into that defense. Gave him that opportunity. Here's my favorite mustache with that up liner. Dunshan makes a bid, a second bid to try and recover, but no, no good on that one. It goes to forward. They will go the other way in this multi-turnover point now. Gets the under. Nice, strong hands there. Low release, low catch. All the way around, takes the wide way there to Ernst. Ernst shoots for goal, not even, he shoots for Dunshern and he had him turned inside out. That blady outside in was not the right option to hit the receiver in that uh, cutting path. Rather than that 
outside in s flick. I would have loved to see a hammer over the top. It's easier to, yeah. to catch in that situation for Hammer sure. or even outside in backhand. Go Just take the other side of the field. The hammer definitely would have worked. But to cut the angle like that just uh, compromises what the cut had set up. And get a. Forward in some kind of a clem setup, some zone defender style of defense. Two of them there fighting for it. At least one of them got it. And even better, no contact between them. No friendly fire. So you gotta communicate better, but they're here to learn, and I hope by the end of the tournament they will have learned that. And that's exactly it. This is very much a prep tournament for these national youth teams. They want to find their legs. This is a glorious opportunity for them to do it at home. Dunshire now after the turnover. Oh, great touch there on a pass that maybe you say is lazy, but maybe not. That that was a sneaky D. Just good defense. And another timeout call, I believe, as people are flooding the field. That would seem the way. A sneaky D, like one of my favorite bars in Toronto, sneaky D's. Been around forever. They're going to take a break and talk about it. We're going to take a break, too. We will be right back after this timeout. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow Ultimate everywhere. Those who do not know their history can never relive it. The skies, the dives, the sideline smiles. Our past is held in photo albums, drinking stories. The present is a gift. And here at Ulti TV, we want to make sure we always appreciate it. Capturing the immortal moments of Ultimate from around the world and making sure everyone can enjoy them for free, forever. Because the future, the future belongs to all of us. Back in action, look at that drone shot. Good mood action from Ioka Energy Ioka. Drinks. Inspire the moment, get creative and feel Ioka. So time out there for the under 24s, having a chat with their coaches. We've, we've talked about Jan Novak, we've seen him around a bunch lately, he's still playing elite. Who else they got on the bench over there? So Jan is actually the second coach to Michael Zellinger, who's been doing the open coaching in Austria for quite some time. I do believe he was the head coach in yeah, in 2019, where the team did rather well. And he's been, yeah, he's been playing on forward for most of his life. He came out of a club called Upsa Daisy. Hmm. Created forward after that and up, up, so daisy. Here come the other 24s after the break. Had a chance to think about it. Let's see what that thinking does for him. Nice up line by Angetter. Scuba, far side of the field. That one right in the bread basket. Counts for a goal. That timeout qualifies as a good one. Oh, yeah, they've been using timeouts super well, both teams actually. And that scuba 
is a daring shot, but it worked out so well. And when you're a lefty, people would never expect that to come up. Yeah. Because you or have the backhand around as well. Less likely for sure, but did, did come out beautiful. Very high uh, top point of that scuba. Helixed with a little bit of a straight drop into the receiver. Worked out quite well, as unorthodox and unexpected as it may have been. It uh, counted for points, and the Austrian team happy with what they did after the break. They should be. They really should be. 6-3, the double up forward club ahead of the national youngins. I gotta say it feels a bit closer. There's been, not necessarily because because of the, the skill, but the intensity is really high and there's a lot of defense, defensive plays on both sides rather. No team really seems to get the better of the other and that's well, it's a bit surprising to me that forward actually has three points up on, on the national team. Well, let's see if that closeness can be exposed in the next section of the game and they can chip back into it. That would be the real indicator. Deep shot, Govitz goes for it. Zulat on the other end by the defense, breaks it up. Threw away that hat. That'll always do it. Well, not always, but. Well, it did there. That added plus 10 on speed and Worked out for the Austrian side, and they get that disc back. Indicates effort and intensity. My, I'm gonna spike my hat because I'm already charging. Niding off. He's an actor. Acting like he wants to give that back to, to forward, forward for the moment. Sell out with the hand block, redeeming us for his mistake. Here comes forward with the short field. Dovitz, big around break, but too much around. Shaking. Way too far out. Yeah. Way too far out, shaking his head in disbelief that he could make a mistake like that because this, actually this around backhand is his number one signature throw. Pick called, I could hear that one, despite not seeing the double bicep flex hand signal indication. Here come the youngins and they give it straight back. They are just not crisp this time of asking. Dovitz will have it another try. See if he goes the round break again. No, nope, he goes for the very easy dump. The round break does come, but not from Dovitz. Toe held and dragged, and forward puts another on the board. Yeah, that works. Great use of the break side from the forward offense there. Still such hasty movements from, I feel like they're putting themselves under more pressure than they actually would have. Great toe drag there. Plane cam is on. Another Austrian Airlines plane flying they're, into Vienna. They're all coming in more than likely. That plane's just gonna unload and come straight to the stadium, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Gotta pick up the national team players. And if they're not coming straight to the stadium, they're definitely going for a Wiener Schnitzel. One of the two, either straight to the tournament or Wiener Schnitzel eating. Sure, I'm gonna agree to that. <laughs> don't know how to, how to, I don't wanna burst your bubble and f expectation here. Everyone comes to Vienna for the schnitties. <laughs> sure. 
I think you have to be Australian to realize that a schnitty is a schnitzel. So let's not get confused with the integrated lingo deep shot. That way too far in front. I good say catch. Way. Yeah, good catch up speed, but uh, it's too far. Absolutely. In the end, it got really, really close, but still not enough. But I, I do like that they're taking the deep shots now because they've been working on the unders, fighting hard and no one going deep at all. And now at least they're trying. Spread the field a little bit. Dunshern gets the under. Schwab. Now the gainer, Geru Dunshin. Ooh, the deep is there. He's taking it way too much float on that, and it may trail out the sideline as well. Huck didn't come off as per plan. Yeah, I hope it wasn't the plan. Maybe he wanted to get in into an air fight. Either that or play defense again. Uh, probably defense. Handled by Angetta. Proshaka moved it on before the fake tuck. Haida gets the chisel. And again, deep shots on. Haida on the chase. He's got position, he's got another goal. Beautiful put by Holzner into Haider. So much touch on that disc, Holzner actually plays a lot of disc golf. Maybe that helps with the throwing. Disc golf coming on strong in Vienna as far as my last couple days here. So one course, at, what was that part called? Prata. At the old Hata. Prata. Hata. Some 18-hole course there, there was loads of players lined up to get their round in. Yeah, disc sports are catching on. Disc sports in general, even we saw a lot of 175s flying around that day too. One, a 175 gram discs. So Austrian 24 is back on the board as we have another look at our drone shot. That's two fields you saw there in the stadium ground, sideline to sideline in the center, squeezing as much action as possible onto the stadium field so as many players as possible can benefit from the lush venue showcase pitch. Davids. Goes backwards, Almer. Goes Dovitz again. Dovitz rips it. It's a little too low and a little too into the hands of the defense. Godnak gets to the 50 shirt. And Simon. Trying to go around, then forces it into the end zone. There is a pack there, and the grab unavailable because of the pack. Beran had to go deep into the end zone. No reset av available, really. And a call on the field. The violation seems like a marking issue. Disc space or wrapping. Fast count maybe. So it goes back to zero. Ooh, and the layout did just enough to decombobulate the receiver and he dropped it. Beran quick to pick up. 
73 shirt, swiping and faking. Ooh, handled only just. By Goudnick, hammer into the pack. The whole team's there, two teams, and forward rips it away. Foul called. <sighs> Fouls are tough. When especially the when there is a it. yeah, especially when there's five to six people, you cannot avoid body contact like that. We see that again here, and Kine has a really good position to get that second effort. Yeah, I mean there was contact there. He got two hands to it though, but it it's justified to make that call. I'm not sure it's my favorite call of the day, but he's retracted it. So good on you. Palo. Wind up. Delivery. Two defenders in the neighborhood. Time to make up. Well, they made up for it, went up early, and then came down with it after they both descended to the ground. Godnick. Inside break. Nice throw to Leinhardt, and then the point block to take it away. The second point block we have this game here. Kine with another defense, and that disc does not look straight from here. Yeah, that is a taco disc. Oh, goodness, look at the flight. Wobbler. I would really. Oh, want it's a them super wobbler. You can see it even on the short passes. <laughs> that disc has been karate kicked. Here they come though, they're gonna score with a wobbler. Dovitz. Predictive commentary, of course. They haven't got there yet. Zelot on the doorstep. Looking for the inside break and then engages Dovitz. Dovitz goes wide, actually centers. And Pala with the disc, back to Dovitz. Very static. Well defended. Defense really effectively taking the position until then. Break side of the field and just a quick little dishy into the guts of his receiver for a forward score. Yeah, forward was very passive in, in their red zone, but managed well to isolate players and the defense on the AUT under 24 side could not quite get there and make a poaching block of any kind. Mm. So with an under 24 squad, there's a lot of parents and family on the sideline and watching at home and for you to help the sport, to help your children. It essentially does get back straight to that. Help your children by doing all of the things you're helping their campaign. And one of those things that you can do to help is to like and subscribe and become a patron on alti.tv and help support the broadcast that helps support the coverage that showcases their skills. So now is a great time to do that. You can just easily punch that into the search bar, click a couple buttons, give your credit card information, and bada bing, bada boom, you have become more beautiful. Well, that's not actually true, but you'll feel like that happened. You feel like you've done a good deed of the day. Which makes you feel more beautiful, right? Of that's yeah. where I'm going. Inside. Yes, so. oh, beauty is all interior and in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> So forward on the double up after that goal even, it's 8-4. Breaking news, we do have the women's quarter that we'll be covering coming in. What do we got, Christina, after this one? We've got an all check quarter final on the women's check, side. Check, check. Check, check. Which means? 3SB. Flamingos. Take flamingos taking on East Block. Not Flamingos. 
Wolves, rather. What are they called? It's wolves. Uh, and their jerseys, I think. Wolves against flamingos. If that was a real fight. I would love to see that. I would say, well, it depends how many of each, but if it was equal wolves to flamingos, I, the wolves would uh, make quick work out of those mingos. But wouldn't they fly away? But it is not a fight like that. These are mascots and emblematic animals. That these teams play under, of course. Dovitz had to look at the deep and put it away. Zulat gets it under. And return to Zulat. He, I thought he was casual for a second and then had to throw his body. Dovitz, they've gone back about 15 meters in two throws now. Make it 20. Still nothing really from the stack. Ernst, and then the throw away. Ernst not happy with the receiver, but I think that throw is beyond him. Kotsky picking up. Gets the centering throw, Proshka. Continuation. Fakes the big. Holzner. Nidenoff. Centering again to Holzner with the high compression socks. Goes wide. Inside break. Too much. What's that condiment again? Maggie? Maggie. Too much Maggie on that one. Yeah, and I don't know if he could have gotten there, I think. He could have laid out for it. But forward with an opportunity to add one to their advantage. Dovitz. Dump space. And again, Dovitz winds up, delivers, trailing towards the sideline, but just enough room, keeps the foot down about eight meters out with a dump. Now there are enough cavalry upfield. He keeps eyes focused towards the end zone. Wide side, in for goal, forward score again, 9-4. Seems like after that big hawk, AUT was just playing shadow defense, not really dialed in anymore. Seems like they didn't want to really get that block. They need a shake up, perhaps another timeout coming soon. Rattle the cage, get them fired up again. Bring the energy back at least. <laughs> Coach Rabotnik, a personal trainer on the sideline here, obviously vested interest with all Austrian sides as well. He's uh, actually a part of forward, just injured now and not ready to play yet, but I heard there was gonna be a comeback and obviously invested in ultimate coaching, one or the other, rather well-known Frisbee player. <laughs> Katarina Meisel for Yaka, for mm. example. Heard of her. Really? I know her and I've definitely heard of her, yes. Uh, yes, she definitely references Coach Rapotnik on her Instagram. Credits him for a lot of the workouts and the direction that her workouts go in, which she seems very happy about. And some great results that come from them. Absolutely. Nowadays, it's really important for players to cross-train. Get your hours in the gym in, get some cardio in as well. Get your pomp on. Like Arnold. Arnold is the only reason I would have ever known of what an Austrian accent might sound like <laughs> in my youth. <laughs> yeah, I know he has an English accent when speaking German, which is funny. Getting the chopper. And get her. I'll put her away, I promise. Centering. 
The only thing this game is missing is a break chicken right now. Angetter gets it back on the other side of half. Well, that break chicken is a box classic and we're not sharing, I think. Yeah, well, it could be stolen. I mean, was. they didn't pay that great care to it uh, at Padova. It went missing. Oh, and a hand block, but a blind dump pass. And now some space. The outside in, did he get a piece of that? Or I, think he, I think he did get a piece of that. I think there was a point block there, or a, a point touch that fluttered it away and took a lot of the Maggie off of that throw. The red pants of Hortzna. Working wonders. Wunderbar. Under 24s. Trying to show some patience, but that throw just a bit too far in front of Angetter, and he's not able to make the play at it as Dungeon picks up. Hearing the five minutes left jingle, which means no more timeouts. Timeouts are done for the day for this game. And he makes a play. Great bid to pick up the goal and forward piles another on the board. 10-4 is the score. 10-4 there, little fat buddy. We got walkie-talkies even this weekend. Yeah, we do. So forward, slowly running away with that frisbee. You see the catch again and putting it out into space. Big layout. <laughs> Great bid, mate. This player, actually, someone I don't know. I do think he is a Slovak um, import. Add to the team for the tournament. So we're looking forward to the season. What other break animals these teams are going to add? Will they attach them to Nerf rockets? Will they simply throw them in the air? Will they find other means of launching long-necked stuffed animals into the air to celebrate their breaks? Or will they get lost in obscurity by not doing as much? And that pull goes out of bounds. That pull goes way out of bounds into the other field, middle of the other field. Not even, no. Not even anywhere close, but gives a big advantage to, to the Austrian side. Austrian side, I say. Both the teams, these teams are Austrian. Well, AUT. We did. We didn't feel the need to put AUT in brackets for the under 24 side, seeing that AUT is already in the primary line of their team name. Yeah, because it's the Austrian ultimate team, team which. Oh, Dunshin jumps up and gets a point block on the scuba. Wait, who is he? Don't know the guy. Oh uh, yeah, we should know him. We should, don't, shouldn't we? He plays for Krit. Good. Everyone knows them. Dungeon again. Centering. <laughs> Looking for the dump. Gets the dump. Stankovic. Now in for goal. One throw later and forward. Put the 11th point on the board to four. And they are sniffing at that semifinal. Yeah, you don't usually like a double cup, but in this situation, it's really important that the second person out of the back of the stack still went out to get that disc.
if Box go the whole season, do you think that do you think that chicken's planned to go with him the whole season? We've had that for a season. We bought it in America. Okay. But has it been a mascot or has it been a break chuck in the air celebration or has the break chuck in the air been a new addition to what's done with the chicken? It's the break chuck in the air is the reason we needed something. We so Betty, our coach, is uh, captain's mom, was with us, and they have a dog, and she saw it in the supermarket. Was like, hey, I really want, I, I want to bring a dog toy back. Let's take that chicken. And Betty brought it to the fields for some reason, and I don't know really who created it, but it became something to throw instead of the disc for the breaks. For breaks. So and then if you want to Did Randallus and Johnny Bravo steal the brake launch from Box and the chicken launch? Or did, uh, are they launching a disc? Or what, what are they launching? You don't know about the Johnny Bravo and Randall brake rocket? Nope. Goodness gracious. Sorry, I... It's okay. They have a Nerf rocket that they run out onto the field. It's got a foot pump, and they stomp it. A stomp rocket, if you oh. would. And they send a little styrofoam nerf rocket into the air when they get a break. Uh, I don't think, no, I, I don't think Fox knows about that. It did gain some notoriety over the course of the last year. And anyway, so Box has no idea. And so they have been coming up with their own version unbeknownst to them. Hammer! Bingo! That one's on the spot. That's a goal for the under 24s. It really was Katki with that big grab. We've seen him on the under 20 stage for the Australian national team last summer. Doing loads of the heavy lifting for the team. So the difference between those teams is decreasing slightly, but you have to start with one. Start with one and then get six. Yeah, maybe. It happens. It has happened before. It the happen more again. you get, the more easy they become oh, yeah. to tack on to, to add on to. Momentum is a real live component of this game of runs and when you take a hold of it you can ride it out for a lot longer than some may anticipate east block showing up ready for their quarterfinal yeah, i'm really looking forward to seeing them against their czech rivals will be a good local derby Especially since one or the other player on that East Block team used to play on the other side with 3SB. I see. Which player? Kloster. Yes, and she's been a very handy addition to East Block. Oh, yeah, and I think she is East Block local. Picked up three with 3SB for a time. But Learned a thing or two over there in 3SB and brought it back to her own club. I'm sure that's a great thing for Czech Ultimate, no matter what the, there is between those two clubs. Oh, and a sitter goes to ground. Miha back doesn't do justice to that throw. Holtzna gets Proshaka and another completion. They've moved up that far sideline. Shot for goal. That isn't quite in the goal. And the next one's in! Under 24 is crack another one on the scoreboard. And would you look at that? It could well be time for a Slurpee. It, oh, it's gonna be soon. We, we're going to need one more out of them, but I'm getting thirsty. I could use a grape slush. 
What's your favorite flavor? Yeah, grape all day long. Grape, yeah, I'm a grape girl myself. Grape as well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Give me I the do purple. like the occasional mm, raspberry, but I just think it's super weird that it's blue and not, not pink. It's supposed to be pink, isn't it? It's true. <laughs> raspberry. Sugar water purple. Yay. Sugar water ice purple. Give it to me. So, under 24s, sticking around, swinging, looking for a break to get old Steph a Slurpee. Do the man a favor. I need your favors. Getting old. Pull is short, but lands in. Very Coming floaty, back. we can say that much. Starting in the attacking half with a pull that land in. Dovitz to Dunshan. Back to Dovitz. And Dunshan gets a look. Nice grab with the right hand above his shoulders. And another sitter. Goes to ground, two hands on it, looking up before he piled, dialed it in. Too far. They look to strike just a bit too quickly. trying to give you that slurpy time, but just rushed it a little bit. Got to wait until it's ice cold. Ice cold. Hey, uh. Forward from their own end. Dovitz to Dungeon and the gainer. Nice inside break, it looked nice, but that was right into the defense. Proshka knocks it away. Ooh, lined up a big, goes for the around. Nidenov. Little dance in the backfield, did not look that at all. Because he had that upline break, and that counts. He spins his hat around, shows it to the crowd. And 7-Eleven, ladies and gentlemen, get your Slurpees. Forward cheering that the game isn't over yet, and they're absolutely right. The game is far from being over, especially since forward have shown us so many careless mistakes of just clap catching and dropping those discs, giving opportunities back and back again. So the old Czech classic missing two Tozhnerovas. Do you think they'll be watching in, in the comments? 100%. I'm, I'm without a doubt sure that Rahel Tozhnerova is going to be watching, criticizing. First comment. <laughs> I would bet, like, yeah. uh, maybe my pinky finger on it that she'll be first comment. So other commenters, you can try and get in early and see how legitimate my bet to myself is that I might sacrifice right a finger. Dovitz, wind up, that one's there, defense is coming, nice bid, but still connects. Dump, big dump to reset, and now shot for gold, Dunshern can't get up because friendly fire lands on him as the under 24s take it away. Oh, it feels so rushed right now with everything they're doing. It's 
Now Dunstan gets that one out of the air, plucked out of the sky, and he gets it back. Centered, needs a layout. Back to Dovitz. Dovitz goes around, has a look around. He had all sorts of space, but couldn't milk it in. Does it on the next throw. And Pala counts one for a goal for forward. Yeah, beautiful arching, marching that disc around to the other side of the field. And it seems like this is game in right. favor Did of forward. We haven't heard a time cap yet. We heard the five minute, but it's long gone. Okay, well, I'm not sure I heard it, but glad to get that confirmation. So that is game over on a score against. Not sure how that works out. Oh, no, that's a score four. My bad. Uh, so forward take the game here. Great battle of all Austrians here in Vienna. The 12-7 match goes to forward and Everybody will have lots to gain there. Forward gets to move on to the semifinal. Austrian under-24 team gets some great footage and memories that they can add on to continue their journey to Nottingham. And we all win for being in Vienna and benefiting from the weather that has not turned on us. Uh, Great game, we're gonna get ourselves moving. Christina Obermeyer, the local, the TD and the commentator here is gonna stay put. I'm gonna take a little break. Benji Reese is going to fill my spot and the next match is the all check battle. Make sure you're tuned in for that one. Thank you, thanks. Thanks, Yeah, ultimate. Alti.tv